shop ain't gonna stock itself. Morning, Ma. Morning, Pa. Morning, Tressa. Looks like our number one employee is ready for another day of work. Sure am. And I'll start by stocking up the store. Hold your seahorses, little lady. Tell me, what are the three things a merchant needs most? They need to be smiley, mannerly, and early. Thought you had me, didn't you? <laughs> You're too clever for me, Tressa. Now off you go. Leave it to me, Pa. Be careful out there, Tressa. Oh, those pirates have been causing trouble around the tavern lately. If you see them, you make sure to keep a wide berth, you hear? Got it, Ma. Be back in two ripples of the tide. There she goes. It reminds me of myself when I was that age. Always running off somewhere, wanting to prove myself a full-fledged merchant. Don't flatter yourself, dear. Our Tressa is something special. <laughs> that she is. Oh! Business with you. Not bad. Another day, another deal. A deal so good, it was practically a steal. This ought to liven up our little shop. Our little shop. Just me, Ma, and Pa. If I don't take over, we will. The ocean is so vast. What lies beyond the horizon? Drop anchor!
I haven't seen that ship around here before. I wonder where it came from. What a dreary town. But it carries a delectable scent. Oh, its cuisine may be promising. What's the matter, lass? You look like a fish out of water. Is this a trading ship? Indeed, and I am its captain. Well, Captain, the name's Tressa. I'm a merchant in this town. A pleasure to meet you. I'm sure you have all kinds of neat cargo on board. Say, would you mind if I take a peek? I'd love to see what you've brought from overseas. <laughs> you have a true merchant's eye, lass. You gaze at a simple trading ship as if it were made of solid gold. Alas, I only allow passage to those I trust. Aww. <gasps> what was that? I'll go check it out. Busy as a bream, that one. allow it. Think again. There's no need to pretend. Aww. 
Lass. Hello there. <laughs> Thank you. this do? Hi. Got that right. 
too. That's far enough. What's that? Can't be serious. Captain Leon Pastral. What? <laughs> what do we have here? Prepare yourselves. Of course. What's the matter? Really? 
Really? Oh? Of course. This is... <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. Perhaps a day will come when you and I meet as rivals. But I won't be beat. I swear it on my honor as a merchant. Way anchor, men. The ocean calls. to go home and read it all. This world is brimming with treasures. And I know what I'm searching for is out there somewhere. So I'll set sail for the horizon. And 
the great big world beyond. It's time I see the world! What? I'm going to leave Ripple Tide and become a traveling merchant. I'll see the world and have customers from every corner of the realm. Oh my, just think about what you're saying, Dean. Travel? I won't have any. You're not even a stationary merchant yet. You need at least two more years of stocking the store, and three years of working the shop front. That's five years before you're ready to go anywhere. Sorry, Pa. My mind's made up. Besides, I'll get all kinds of training on the road. <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. There's no point in trying to stop you now, Tressa. You have my blessing. Oh! Darn! This is our little girl you're talking about! I know. But I had a feeling this day would come. She is her father's daughter, after all. In the end, being a good merchant boils down to experience. That's just what you'll find out there. Go and see the world, Tressa, until your heart's content. I understand, but I can't help but worry, Tressa. Do take care of yourself out there, won't you? Be strong, and may the sacred flame light your path. Mm, thanks, Ma. Thanks, Pa. And I'm sorry for leaving. But I'll come back one day, and you'll see just how much I've learned. We wouldn't know what to do if you didn't. <laughs> After all, you're our number one employee. <laughs> Bye, Ma! Bye, Pa! This journal? The author only filled half the pages. The other half is still blank. Guess I'll just have to pick up where he left off. I'll write down everything. I won't leave any stone unturned. From the next chapter on, this will be my story. I'll travel far and wide and journey on until every last page is filled. I don't know what lies beyond the horizon. There's only one way to find out. See ya, Ripple Tide. My adventures as a merchant are just beginning. I'll start by following in the footsteps of a nameless traveler. And journey far, far beyond.
<laughs> no way! <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you. Tressa. Oh, 
I'll be... of these lovely gems for just a fraction of her prices. What? <laughs> what a dirty trick. Setting up shop right next to me? I won't go down without a fight. They certainly are beautiful. But what makes your stones different from hers? You won't find purer sky stones anywhere. Just look at them. You can see all the way through. Not a single blemish or impurity to be found. Dazzling, is it not, milady? Almost as dazzling as your eyes. Well, when you put it that way. Resorting to cheap flattery. Does he have no shame? Do you have a daughter, my good sir? That doll's of Boulderfall made, no? A precious gift for a precious little girl, no doubt. Indeed it is. Ah, clearly you're the type of father who wants only the best for his darling child. Do you truly believe that doll will suffice? The Sky Stone is as pure, innocent, and beautiful as a daughter's love. And every time she sees its radiant glow, she'll remember her dear father who gave it to her. Its light will connect her to you, no matter how far you may travel. Dear father, where do you roam? Dear father, when will you come home? Surely you can see why this would be the best purchase you'll ever make. I can just see her smiling face now. What a pleasant young man. Yeah, I'll take one. You're most welcome, my good sir. Oh, uh, what? Step right up, there's not a moment to spare if you want a rare sky stone to call your own. 
You won't find them anywhere else. I promise you won't be disappointed. I'll take one, please. One for me, too. Thank you. Thank you. Would you look at that? Business is booming! Well, maybe not for all of us. You win this round. There's no way I'd lose to a green pea like you. I'll admit, I've never seen anyone make a sale like that before. Practice makes perfect. If you want to survive in this world, you need to learn how to tug heartstrings and loosen purse strings. But being a merchant is about more than just making a sale. A good merchant should understand what their customer needs and sell them what's best. What I sell may not be what they need, but it is what they want. What's wrong with a little embellishment? Embellishment? A merchant's words are like a warrior's blade. Don't forget it, Green Pea. Say. You see... Well, well. Then Really? No. Hmm. 
Actually, <sighs> Ali. Tressa.
<laughs> Hold it right there. <laughs> Come to inquire about a job, have you? Very well. I'd sooner eat those rocks than work for you. You're as much of a fool as the boy is, then. To think two self-styled merchants would be so averse to making money. You should know that I pay my loyal men quite well. Everyone has a price. I understood that more than ever after I chased out that stubborn old landlord and took control of him. You... what? <laughs> There's nothing that money can't buy. So, what's your price, boy? On second thought, never mind. You're Maroof's wealth, aren't you? For all I know, you could be a fraud just like your old man. A... Uh, a fraud? Sh shut up! Didn't he tell you? His father's an infamous swindler in the South. He made a fortune scamming gullible sops with fanciful half-truths. <laughs> Until, that is, he got swindled himself by a trusted friend of all people. <laughs> Saddled with debt, Poor Maroof ended up bankrupt. A sad tale, no? <sighs> Ali? There's no room for emotions in business. The poor, stupid fool. <laughs> See that one more time. What's that? Insult my father's name one more time and I'll... My father was a good, honest man. He sold his customers what they wanted. And his words made them happy. Your father was nothing but a lousy, lying dog. Those with money make the rules, boy. Second-rate peddlers like you and your old man should shut up and die like the paupers you are. You son of a... If you won't work for me, I'll just find another way to make money off of you. You won't sell for much, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> Mr. Morlock. Never in my life have I heard someone spout such cruel words. Your coffers may be overflowing, but you're still morally bankrupt. Oh, go on. You make a mockery out of others like you're getting paid for it. You cheat your workers out of their hard-earned money and monopolize their profits. If anyone's a swindler here, it's you. It seems you've forgotten your own manners. Omar! Let's help the girl remember her place. It's time you learned that money is might! Now, let's get down to business. 
Now, what next? Come in, if thou darest. No! One for all. Try. <laughs> A tempest of ice shall rage. What next? Try and this. One for all. Now, what next? A tempest of ice shall rage! Ah! I was close. Let in my air holding back nothing. That one for all. Let in the hunt. Yeah. I sunder it. I focus. Nothing will quiet the storm. How about this? Letting my arrow fly in true. Now, what next? A tempest of ice shall rage! No! Have a taste of this! What to do? I honor thee, my queen. No! Huh. Hmm. So... Not so fast! <laughs> what to do?
Tressa. As much as I hate to say this, I owe you one. And a merchant always pays his debts. You have my word. <laughs> I'll hold you to it. What Morlock said about my old man? It's true. Some did call him a swindler. But it was a lie spread by competitors who were jealous of his talent. And while it's true my father was deceived by his friend and forced to take on his debt, it doesn't diminish the things he taught me. Our words have the power to make our customers happy. So I'll follow in my father's footsteps, work hard, and go back home with enough money to pay our debts in full. Ali! Say, have you ever heard of the Merchant's Fair? It's the greatest auction in the realm held each year in Grandport. The wealthiest and most influential people the world over come to feast their eyes on treasures beyond your imagination. They say there's nothing you can't buy at the Merchant's Fair. That sounds incredible. I'm going to go there and make my dreams come true. If you can make it at the fair, you can make it anywhere. You really do have a way with words, Ali. Guess I'll be seeing you in Grandport. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> well, we still need to have our rematch. And what better place to settle the score than the Merchant's Fair? <laughs> I'll bring my best treasure. If you think you stand a chance, I suggest you do the same. I'll find the greatest treasure there is. You'll see. Good. Once you have it, come find me at the fair. I'll be the one drawing the largest crowd. They won't stick around for long after I get there. <laughs> You're sounding less green already, Green Pea. See you at the fair. After we met, all I wanted to do was forget Ollie. He sure knows how to make a lasting impression. Now, I think I've found a good arrival in him. Funny how things turn out, no? And now I know my final destination, Grand Port and the Merchant's Fair. For now, I'll follow in the footsteps of the Nameless Traveler and make for Victor's Hollow. There I'll find myself a treasure beyond my wildest dreams.
Oh. Hello there. <laughs> Mr. Leon! You don't say.
Hey! Welcome. I'm sorry. Hmm? What do we have here? I beg your pardon. But... What? You see... Till we meet again. Hey. Hi.
most grateful. Captain Leon! The storm be giving us no quarter, sir! Let's turn back! The old girl can't hold on much longer! Anyone wanting to retreat can be my guest and swim back. I'll reduce this ship to shivers before I let him have my treasure! If those scurvy sea dogs get to that island first, we get nothing! You hear? Hold fast to that rudder, mateys! Baltazar, that bastard. You're too slow, Leon. Aye, Captain Marvius. I think he'd have learned after all these years. Enough. Else I'll cut out your tongue and feed it to the gulls. Now I'll be taking this island's treasure, if you don't mind. I do mind, but it isn't mine. Do whatever you please. Do ye remember when we were lads, Leon? Starving in the slum, stealing to survive. We dreamt of just growing up and had to fight tooth and nail to reach the top. Nothing was ever easy for us. In this world, the strong take while the weak quake. And we became strong. Ye never change, Leon. You say it like you're any different, Balthazar. Not everyone stays the same forever, Maisie. Can I tell you something, Leon? I never wanted to be a pirate. What? When we were lads, I dreamt of being a merchant. <laughs> Have you gone daft? Balthazar of the Eastern Seas. A merchant. You're a bloody scoundrel for life. Be the truth. 
I wanted to trade treasure from every corner of this here world and bring people together. Lost sight of that dream after becoming a pirate. But these days, it's all I'd be thinking about. Leo, do you have something precious to you? Aye, fine storm this is. How about another wager, my friend? Whoever reaches that island first be the winner. Ye win. You get that gem you always wanted. Oh uh ho, -huh, will I now? And what happens if you win? I win. Ye hand over your most precious treasure. Right.
Don't start things you can't finish. Mr. Leon. Huh? Did you ever find what's most precious to you? Baltazar. Leon, what's more precious to you than anything in the world? Most precious? All my treasures are precious. <laughs> I didn't mean gold or gems, Leon. Then what did you mean? Do you have something so dear to your heart that you'd risk life and limb for it? When we were lads in that poor town, we thought having riches was all there was to life. But I've been wondering lately if that's the life worth living. Then I wonder, what life is worth living? I use me strength to steal from the weak. Just like ye, Leon. And it took years of looting to realize that none of it meant anything to me. No. Not at After the final race with Balthazar, I couldn't stop thinking about his last words. If I win, you hand over your most precious treasure.
but what was my most precious treasure? In the coming days, I kept asking myself the same question. But I never came to an answer. Until one day, I realized... I'd obtained nothing. Just like Balthazar, I no longer had a reason to continue as a pirate. I lowered my flag. And I dedicated myself to repairing Balthazar's ship. I decided to pursue the dream of my friend in his stead. And so, I became the captain of a merchant ship. Huh. I want you to keep that stone, lass. Really? But it belonged to your friend. This letter is all I need. That stone holds no meaning to me. Are you sure? Everyone has something precious to them. Whether it be land, riches, honor, or what have you, there is an abundance of treasure in this world. But there is only space in one's heart for a single, truly precious treasure. And I found mine. Balthazar's ship. It gave me another chance at life. Mr. Leon? What is your most precious treasure? Aye, with those keen eyes, I have no doubt you will. But be prepared. Your life will never be the same after. Farewell, lass. Bon voyage! Toodaloo! treasure. I saw Mr. Leon again. He taught me that there is only one true treasure in a person's life. I haven't found that treasure in my life yet. But I'll keep searching until I do. It's just a matter of time now. With the Eldrite in hand, I'm ready for the auction. Watch out, Merchant's Fair! Here I come!
Hey. This is an honor. Indeed. Are you all right? Yes, thank you. But please don't worry yourself. I can walk on my own two feet. Uh, okay. If you say so. Ah! Are you sure you're okay? Here, have some water. Thank you so much for your kindness. <laughs> you don't have to thank me. I'm Tressa, by the way. I'm a traveling merchant. A traveler? I'm Noah. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Miss Tressa. You don't have to be so formal. Tressa works just fine. I... I see. Tressa. See? That's not so hard. How are you feeling, by the way? Better, thank you. I thought I could make it just a bit farther. My legs have always been weak, you see? So I never strayed too far from home. But I've always longed to see the world. I just know there are countless wonderful things out there waiting to be discovered. This girl reminds me of me. But the rest of the world was always out of reach. Eventually, I realized that my dream would forever be just a dream. I came here by sheer willpower alone. I hoped I'd find something to help make my dreams come true. Something precious I'd treasure forever. Treasure? Oh! Hmm. 
biasa. Oh. What? I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Take care. Can't be. Um, <laughs> uh, yes. Your attention, please. <gasps> Gather round. How splendid. Oh. Thank you. 
Actually. Ooh. So. Most excellent. Come again! <laughs> Most assuredly. <laughs> Long time no see! Green pea. Is something wrong? Actually... What? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Huh? Hey now. So what now? Hmm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! Green pea. Yeah. Oh. So.
Of course. <gasps> now then. Huh? What? I am a one-man army. Oh no! <laughs> Hello there! Actually, that's so. Indeed. That's so. Ugh. <laughs> it's my turn now. And also... Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> you won't move willingly. <laughs> My turn now. Feel the power. How about you? You shall be healed. I am ready. The peacock struck. Come here. Out of my way. Ignis Arctic. My turn now. Ice. Witchery. Out of my way. Failed. Tonight, Rick, put it. What to do? Wind. <laughs> Stay strong. Out of my way. <laughs> Out of my way. Huh. How about you? You shall be healed. Let's do this. My turn now. I'm ready. Are you? Tonight, Rick. Come in. I am ready. Not too fast. Is unbending. I wreak havoc upon thee. Let's do this. Let me help. Ah! 
Truly joy. You shall be healed. about this. Ignis are dead. Havoc upon thee! 
Let's do this. Ignis are dead. Where's the nearest tavern? What? <laughs> Phew. Oh. You see... I'd find something to help make my dreams come true. Something precious I'd treasure forever. <gasps> Dress it. Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> By the way, Here we are. Why, I... <laughs> now then. What's the matter? <laughs> now then. Tressa.
Tressa. Thanks. And now, for our next entrant... Tressa Colcione! Tressa? A kid? Here's hoping she won't disappoint. Hello. My name is Tressa, and I'm a traveling merchant. Today, I brought something very special to me. An anonymous notebook! I grew up in a small port town as the daughter of two merchants. Sometimes I gaze out at the ocean and think to myself, what do I really want to do? What do I really want in life? And then I came across this notebook. It was written by someone whose name I don't know. Someone who traveled across the world and wrote down everything about their journey. I decided then and there that I wanted to go on a journey too, so I left home. I wanted to explore the world as a merchant and learn the trade as I went. And along the way, I met some unforgettable people. In a mining town, I met another merchant around my age. His words had the power to touch people's hearts and make them happy. It was like magic. <clears throat> After I moved on to the next town, I ran into an old acquaintance. He was the captain of a merchant ship, and the one who originally gave me the book. There, he taught me something very important. He told me that there could only be one truly precious treasure in someone's life. So I searched and searched, until I finally found it. What's truly precious to me is this journey. I've written all about it here in these pages. I can tell you for a fact that there are countless wonderful things out there waiting to be discovered. And just like this nameless traveler allowed me to realize my dreams, I hope that my travels can help someone realize their own. Which is why I want to give you this book. Noah. Tressa. Who would want something so useless? Does she have any idea where she is? In all my years, I've never seen something so embarrassing. Oh, someone get her off the stage! Tressa! I'll take it. Just... Is he serious? Mr. Wyndham, sir. Pardon me, but... Are you absolutely certain? Yes. I don't go back on my word. Now, please, bring me that diary. I would like to present it to my daughter. Now then. Tressa. 
Tessa. Noah. The fact is... Well, are ye? Thanks. <laughs> huh? The fact is... You don't say.
So what are you going to do now? Huh. I think I'll go back home. I've experienced so many things on this journey. It was filled with so many moments that can't be contained in a diary. I traveled and traded across the land and met amazing people along the way. And when I stood on that stage, I realized I did what I set out to do. I want to tell my parents that. I can't wait to see the look on their faces. Home, huh? How about you, Ollie? It's probably time for me to head home, too. My father is waiting for me. I finally saved up enough money for him to open up shop again. So who's the better merchant between you two? I'd like to think I am. Hey, Tressa? Yeah? Next time we meet? We'll see who's the better merchant, right? <sighs> Wrong. Next time? I hope you're a little more refined. What? See, you're like a sky stone. One that could use a bit more polishing. Hey! <laughs> See you around, Tressa. journey isn't over yet. I'll be there soon. That was how I met Tressa. She gave me this diary to fill with my own memories. I know that somewhere out there, she's bringing happiness to others just as she did to me. And someday, I hope to follow in her footsteps. Noah 